Recording in progress. All right, let's well, try this again. Try yeah, this someone's torturing cast. a baby in the background. Shit, shit cast, pod shit. Shit, shit and cast, pod, pod and shit, cast and pod. This is being just cult. We didn't have an episode for two weeks because um, we don't like you and yep or anything. Also, hack the planet. Um, hack the planet. If you go look at our feed, we haven't had an episode for like a month. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't upload a couple of the other ones, I guess. No, they're uploaded. Oh, they should be uploaded to the podcast. Oh, I'll have to look at the thing. Oh, no, whatever. Fuck it. Just Hack the planet. <laughs> yeah, so we've been gone for a month. Presumed dead. We're not dead. We're still alive. It's VHS Cole. Let's talk some shit. I'm Kyle. That's Sean. This is a podcast where we talk shit about shit. I should raise my chair up. Um, it's been two weeks. I was sharing on me. We, we missed all the important current events that happened the last two weeks. Uh, there, there wasn't was going to be secret David Lynch movie at Con, but then it turns out there's not. So that was the big news in uh, my my world, anyways. Um, I got oh, also um, Shion Sono credibly accused of sexual assault sexual co- coercion whole bunch of shit so that sucks fuck that dude she on sono you piece of shit love actually still a great movie he's a piece of shit <laughs> you've trumpeted him many times until now yep well that's what, that's what, what sucks, happens you know sometimes the people show you their ass what sucks about that is um what I liked about Shion Sono is he started off doing softcore porn was openly mm-hmm. sort of a degenerate but then, uh, you know, he reevaluated himself, started making, like, very um, transgressive but feminist movies, right? Even, like, evaluating himself in his own movies, his evaluating his past. Uh, it turns out that no, he's just a piece of shit. So, right now, just John Waters is the only, like, public degenerate who, as far as I know... It's not say. actually a piece of shit. It's just annoying that... Um, that people suck i guess (laughs) i was gonna say like i since i like transgressive artists and people that are open about their sexuality and stuff even if it's like straight sexuality which i think is important um they you know a lot of times they end up being shitty which is just fucking annoying you know you know what are you gonna do about it i I think the uh the the the, um reality of life is that most people um kind of shitty Kind of shitty when it comes down to it. But especially when you get a little bit of power, huh? Yeah, yeah a little, little, little bit of power, a little bit of money. Want to be in one of my movies. Mm. That heart attack should have killed him. That's what I have to say about you, <laughs> Sona. Ah, that's true of a few people. Yeah. Uh, what the the best uh, part of it though is that some dude on Twitter was like. Uh, when you're sad about the Shion Sono news, I have a director you should watch instead, Kiyoshi Kurosawa, who is a great director, <coughs> right? But um, there's only, like, one thing that Kiyoshi Kurosawa and Shion Sono have in common as artists. Uh, can you guess what it is? They're Japanese. Yeah, that's it. Doesn't that seem a little racist? No, it's, they're very similar. Uh, they kind of don't make the same movies at all. No, 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 no. You got Japanese people in them. Yeah, well, that's, that's there you go. That's it, yeah. Fuck you, Japanese, right? I don't. What are you? They're Japanese movies. Hey, you, you know what? You're mad at one, upset about one Japanese man. Well, guess what? There's a few of them. A few <laughs> I get, guess what? I got, a, I got you another Japanese man. Some of them make movies too. Have you heard of Seven Samurai? Huh? Uh, yeah, it's a lot like Love, uh, Love Exposure, Seven Samurai. <laughs> this cold's kicking my ass. <clears throat> Yeah, you've been sick for like a week. Or no, it's more. like two weeks at this point, I think. Oh, yeah, so this is the final episode of VHS Cult. We're moving on to bigger and better things. I was thinking I'm going to um become like a normal person, right? I'm thinking I'm going to get a serious job, mm-hmm. a house, a wife, yep. a vote blue no matter who. Um, a normal up, person? You know, just do like normal people shit. Get a 401k. <clears throat> Uh, maybe get a Tesla. You know, just like I, middle, have you seen how expensive class. Teslas are? I don't know about that normal I'm person do, shit. Do what is normal class, to you? Middle class, um, middle class white <coughs> people shit. I mean upper middle class white people because yeah. Teslas are expensive as fuck. 
Uh, a leaf. Whatever. What's the? What's the yeah, there you go. Yeah, it was a good time. Get a leaf. What's the Honda? The one that used the Prius. They're still doing Priuses, right? You can get a Prius yeah, out uh, there. You can't do podcasts anymore because I'm I'm doing normal people shit now. Well, you do podcasts about normal people shit. That's what I mean. That all the that most famous podcasts, podcasts are are just normal people. That's pretty true, huh? Mm-hmm. Think that's, about that. I don't really like normal people. Well, they're my people now. Huh? I'm pretty normal. Uh, yeah, I like. Uh, I uh, fucking. Uh, I root for the home team. Arizona Cardinals love football now. <laughs> Everyone does. Who's your favorite college team? Oh, uh, <sighs> Roll Tide. What college is that? <laughs> That's Ohio, probably. Ohio or Alabama? Fuck me, I don't honestly that know. One, that's that's perfect because I've mentioned before, white people come from Ohio. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be a stereotypical white person. So roll tide, baby. You're from Ohio. From yeah, Ohio they huh? they all are. Huh? That's where I came from. That's where I, I was spawned. That's the the natural spawn location for white people is Ohio. <laughs> like salmon, they they head north up the river. <laughs> Uh, you know, in Futurama, they got um, Bachelor Chow. Yeah, I was thinking that might be all right. Like if um, I mean, they basically have that shit now in various forms. I like want uh, yeah, I want like a meal that like is the perfect serving with like it hits all my macros and shit. You know, I don't have to worry about anything I eat. I just eat Bachelor Chow. Well, you know, I have a I have a, a meal for you. Uh, first of all, someone's already doing that, but mm. hear me out. Cult food. We're hocking it. Cult food? Cult food. Cult chow. Cult. Cult chow. Give me a, a workshop the, the name with me here. But, uh, We're just going to call it slime. Cult. Cult, cult slime. Uh, VHJ's cult presents slime. Slime. Sludge. Ooh, it's sludge. It's got, <laughs> it's got everything you need. It's sludge. <laughs> it's goop. Yeah, so I... Oh, wait. That's somewhere I took goop. Goop. Yeah, that's... uh. Renee Zoll, not Renee. Yeah, Zoll, you know you got it. it's Renee Zolker. What's that? Uh, you know Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, that, that other white bitch. <laughs> All two of them. Yeah. So since this podcast isn't working out so great, I figure maybe we pitch a few new ideas. Huh? I got a. I think I, I got a, like a white hot idea for a podcast. All right. It's I'm... gonna be called uh, Yowza a Dame. Right? <laughs> okay. Yowza, Yowza, a dame. I'm into Yowza, it. Yowza, a dame. And I, I think the podcast, the, 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 um, like the poster is like the cartoon wolf with its eyes shooting out and the tongue coming out. Yeah. And every episode, we're just going to, um, talk about and critique some sort of famous, uh, attractive, uh, oh, based or... purely on their looks alone, right? Nothing yeah, yeah, about their career or their talent. No, just, you know, how they look. And yeah, I, for sure. Two white dudes are going to really get off on that one. Two straight yeah. women, really, that's a podcast that's going to... You know I'll, what? I'll, I should... I'll tell you what. You know I'm what? Gonna, Alex I'm Jones and, and <laughs> Joe are going to really... are basically doing it already. Uh, so... Yeah, <laughs> look at the... Can't, look at the stems on that tomato. <laughs> that's what I'll say. Look at those gams. Uh, also, maybe like... Uh, well, here's another one. Here's another one. This one's fresh. She's a real top. firecracker in the sack, I'll tell you. Uh, it would be called Farewell Netflix, and it will watch uh, all the Netflix original films before they disappear. Like the there's some... <laughs> that's not a bad idea for a podcast, because there's just some real garbage on the Netflix originals. I just thought of that right now, and it actually doesn't sound too bad, does it? <laughs> Goodbye, Netflix. I, I mean, we're, we're, we're catching the wave, I'll tell you that. Hey, because Netflix is... <laughs> Good. You know, I'll Hello. even I'll even uh, buy some. Uh, I'll put some shorts, buy some puts on uh, on Netflix to make it real. I like that Netflix. Uh, their business model is like apparently just spend way too much money on the, the worst possible movie or TV show you can think of, and then you know, hopefully someday we're gonna make money off of this shit. I mean, they made money a couple of times. <laughs> Strange things, and then they reinvested it. Oh, what is it? Over 30 million an episode. Oh, my movies. God. Yeah, what a smart thing. move, guys. Holy um, shit. That's a higher budget than, like, the French Dispatch. <laughs> or, you know, like, actual uh, works of art. Of sort, you know? um, interesting. Interesting shit. I, I, you know, I got to feel like their, their, their idea was that at some point they were going to get bought out by one of these major studios and it just never happened for them, right? I mean, maybe. It still might I, happen at this point. I, you know what I mean, they've, a lot of the investors, the initial investors, have, have certainly already made bank. And uh, I, You know what I was thinking it would be cool is if, like, 
Blockbuster buys them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean DirecTV? Is that who owns Blockbuster now? Uh, I don't know, yeah. I mean, it's Blockbuster. probably going to be Apple TV if anybody does that. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, businesses in general, uh, especially tech tech businesses, just seem to be like, all right, we're going to drop, a, just dump a poor bunch of money into it, promote the shit out of it as a concept, and hopefully someone buys it because we have no plans on how to actually make money. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Yeah, that's I mean, that's, that's I mean, for, for sure, in, in you know penny stocks, stocks are like worth less, worth uh, worth less than five dollars. Like the stock itself is is the uh, the commodity most of the time, not whatever bullshit the company's trying to sell. And a lot of these tech companies, as big as they are, that's what's happening. You know what I mean? Like the stock is the big is what they're trying to sell, not the actual. It's not Netflix. And so the people that have gotten on the ground floor, um, they've already made their cash. And yeah. It's just, you know, someone else is left holding the back. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. That's all it is, uh, the financial system really is. Yeah, the uh, economics are kind of a scam, huh? Well, it's, it's, it's not really science. No, it's just, it's just bullshit. Who you can trick, huh? You got to start off with the money. You do do some tricks, get a little bit more money, leave someone holding the bag. Do a lot so of tricks. It's the most devious lick. Uh, oh well, fuck Netflix. As long as Tubi's around, I'll be fine. <laughs> Actually, I mean that's bullshit. I just torn everything. I'm a criminal. I don't pay for shit. <laughs> I don't pay for damn thing. Uh, I'm gonna watch Stranger Things season whatever the fuck it is. Four now? Five? Four? I don't know. It, it's, it, four. It's, it's four. It's four. It's four. I don't. That's blows my mind because I I know I've watched all of Stranger Things, but like I can't piece together there being three seasons i don't remember the, any differences between them really I'm like frick it was there other shit going on there was one season i remember season one and season two and three do blend together yeah season one huh they're like you know what if uh well i mean yeah Perfect we Perfect talked about this many times but like, there's plenty of, of shows that are, are, are would have been great if they're just one or, or two seasons you know mm. or yeah, at least sucks when Better. I hate when uh, people with good ideas get like any measure of success, and they're like, "All right, well, we'll just keep doing that forever." <laughs> well, they keep throwing more and more money at me. And uh, if that if I was in that position, I'd been like, "Nope, it's done. We finished it." Didn't you see? There's a conclusion. <laughs> now we gotta do something else. Yeah, Finance like, my next thing. Yeah, give me the money. I'll do something else. But like, I'm not gonna keep doing that shit. Who do you think you are? It also just seems like way more work right she's like oh shit man i gotta bullshit another eight episodes i don't know about no it's it's not it's definitely not more work it's just not as enjoyable to me anyways you know what i mean Mm -hmm. to try to like shoehorn something that i would have thought of as like a very you know singular story and then like oh now we got to continue this on with some other bullshit i'd have to do the same thing again but you know raise the stakes yeah that's all it really is Raise the stakes in the budget. Raise the stakes. We'll the uh, I'd have to come up with some really great idea that that really motivated me. I, 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 if, honestly, because you know what I mean, it's just so. Who? <sighs> I did. I did the thing. I'm done with the thing. Yeah. I just said uh, t- nothing can ever end anymore. It's so terrible. Everyone's so afraid of death. I think, right? <laughs> oh, even the deaths of the imaginary characters that yeah, and, so and their minds could go on them. as long as they they want to, you know. And that's the thing. Yeah, but they're inviting death at this end. point because some of these characters are gonna die now. Let everything die. Everything should move to its end. God damn it! Not God me though. It? Not the VHS cult. Not the VHS cult. It was the last hey, episode. VHS cult's over. This is the final episode. We're doing Yowza a Dame. <laughs> I'm not doing Yowza a Dame. Yowza a Dame. You pitch well, me on the yeah. idea that uh, I'm on the board with the Netflix, the, the, the Netflix one. Yeah, it's, uh, the quirked up white boy doesn't concern her concern himself with the opinions of normies. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're doing Yowza a Dame. Uh, well, let's see. What's some other ones? People like Star Wars, right? Star Wars podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, I think there's, there's all, there are a lot of Star Wars podcasts, but I mean, what's your what's your hook? Uh, we're gonna talk about um, each episode is gonna focus on one of the many famous bounty hunters from Star Wars. The first episode is Bosk, <laughs> the the lizard guy. 
The lizard man, he's like a slaver too, right? Yeah, he's definitely he's 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 like a Wookiee slaver. He's got Wookiee uh, scalps on his his chest, like a like a real son of a bitch. Like a Vietnam vet, yeah. Um, what about that old man? What's the guy's name? Oh, the one with like a bandage on his head. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's got him on a fight constantly. Bandage head, bounty hunter. He's got a real dumb name too. Yeah. <laughs> Dengar. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Dengar. Dengar like, dumb. What's up, you dingus? <laughs> dingus. Oh, here's the YouTube video. Ten top ten interesting facts about Dengar. Oh wow. I can't believe there's even ten facts about Dengar. Yeah, that's well, the way, you know. That's yeah, like we, a rich, that's some, a rich cinematic universe with only five people in it. Uh, this is uh, some research material for our podcast about bounty hunters. <laughs> I'm what not, is Dengar wearing? I, I got a. The only thing I do is these days watch basketball and read and take care of babies. So um, we can do one about um, uh, whatever, whatever basketball, um, basketball game I'm watching. Babies. That way. Yeah, and then the, uh, we'll correlate it with a book. Like uh, Basketball like fucking baby. the Zen Master Phil Jackson. What if a baby got drafted into the NBA? I think it would be terrible for the baby. I don't That's think it would end well. Uh, yeah, because of all like the the um women that throw themselves at young basketball players. Right? <laughs> yeah, that would be the problem. Uh, yeah, that'd be the biggest problem. I'm also just constantly getting embarrassed and dunked on. I mean, but would you think anybody really gonna dunk on a baby? I would. <laughs> And then I'd be like, you don't belong here, baby. How's my nuts taste, baby? This is a man's game. I'm going to put you on a poster, baby. <laughs> Call him the ball, baby. Boss ball, baby. Ball boss, baby. Yeah, there's something there. That's the <laughs> podcast for you. Uh, 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 uh. What are the things that people like? Um, 18 to 45 year old men is uh, they're the biggest consumer oh. based, right? Or is it just that that's who things are marketed to more often? What about uh, spook stuff? Uh, is there a real? Stuff. Can we? Can we? Uh, is there a niche in the cryptozoological world that we can fill? It's a erotic podcast about alien sex. All right, yeah, like, we can do that. I don't know if I want to do that with you, but. <laughs> Alien sex. Alien sex. Oh, what's up next? Alien sex? Connie was right. I owe him, I owe him mm, half an apology. Um, we could do a... Uh, well, here was, what's the thing you're interested in? What gets your, what gets your juices flowing? Alien sex. <coughs> um, music, music. Especially the song Alien Sex by Ski Master Slump God. Yowza dames. Uh, yeah, Yowza dames. Um, sh- movies. Movies that have dames in it. Good looking dames. Uh, sh- TV shows with good looking dames in it. <laughs> Fuck, man. I don't know. Fucking. Right, we're doing a bachelor podcast. And next up, the VHS Cult presents professional uh, wrestling Rose Brothers. Got professional wrestling, but only when it's good looking dames. <laughs> well, they cancel glow. Good looking dames. Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. <sighs> that did have some good looking dames in it. I always thought Allison Bree was a pretty good looking dame. Whenever I see, if I saw it in real life, I'd be like, "Yowza!" Well, that's a good-looking dame. Like, this is like a preview of um, the podcast. Aruga, <laughs> Aruga. You remember? Sometimes they'd have her wear like uh, sultry outfits in Community, and you'd go, "Yowza!" Ooh. You know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? I thought we weren't supposed to sexualize her or something. No, that's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> It's an incredibly offensive podcast. It's a Shion Sono inspired podcast. <laughs> Yowza, baby. You want to get in the Japanese film be... studio? You got to suck this. <laughs> hey, you want to be a guest on the podcast? Well, you know what you got to do. Wow. Jokes about sexual assault. That's a tasty joke. Yeah. There are no rules anymore. This is the final episode. Can't cancel me now. You can't cancel the next one though, which is about Yowza, good looking dames. Well, no, because we the intention is set beforehand. You know what you're getting into. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
that makes it morally sound. Just no. Something. No. I don't know. It's not how it works. Man, <laughs> intrusive thoughts. We all have them. Want to hear one I, line? I was going to, was that going somewhere? I was just thinking, so I was uh, cutting the sleeves off this shirt today because it's an old shirt. I'm tired of having sleeves on it. And then um, I had to pee after I cut the sleeves off. So I like took the scissors with me into the bathroom because you go to the bathroom and then, you know, you put the scissors back where they go. You know, it's, it's, I, I had the, the path sorted out like uh, Frodo from Lord of the Rings. I what went to go pee and I, my brain was like hey imagine if you cut off your dick with those scissors and i was like cool hmm. cool man yep so that's an intrusive thought you know i imagine it'd be pretty bad if i'm gonna be honest i think it's gonna hurt a lot it's gonna be a lot of blood um i think like, i think mostly good regret well it's like scissors aren't like that sharp so yeah like you really gotta that's like when your dick's flaccid, Ugh. it's like... It's, you know, you're like, talking too much about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I just, you know, my brain asked me if I wanted to imagine it, so I did. I, it, it you, you said no thanks, <laughs> asshole. No. I don't know about that. Yeah, so uh, there's a... Um, here's like another intrusive thought I have occasionally. I guess it's like kind of a recursive thought to you. Um, one of the South Korean prime minister candidates, I think the mm -hmm. guy who lost who represented their Democrat party. Mm -hmm. He has a son that's like terrible, you know, like a, a rapscallion. Yeah, Korean. one of those uh, uh, well-begotten sons of the mm -hmm. third generation. Like a um, Hunter <coughs> Biden figure, but worse. <coughs> worse? Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden just does drugs and like has sex, which is, that's all cool shit. But this guy... Uh, I don't know, he's like some gambling shit and some other stuff, but specifically, I guess there was some, like, K-pop event, and someone happened to be in a Discord server with this dude and his friends, and they leaked, like, what they were talking about, uh -huh. and they were just saying, like, horrible shit about uh, uh, K-pop uh, performers, like, the women, you know, like, sexually violent shit, and, like, the one specific thing that really bothers me... Then, like, Is it about Nina from Thrice? But no, oh, I, I that was like I, to you. For some reason I think about it, it'll just an intrusive thought. It'll just I'll visualize it. He was like talking about Karina from Espa, I think is the name of the girl group. She's like, you know, a little girl. She's like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, right? Mm -hmm. He was just like, oh man, I wanted to stick a chopstick in her urethra. <laughs> I'm like. But yeah, sometimes I'll just be, you know, minding my own business, and my brain will be like. What's yeah, that? Think about that again. Think about it again. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. That one sucks. Oh man, I um, yeah. I read a story on. I used to go to this forum that was for um for doctors and like paramedics and nurses and stuff like that. Yeah. And they used to talk about like weird weird patients. Um, and I always thought this one was fake, but you know sometimes you read about weird shit, so you never know. People do weird shit, so. Yeah, yeah, but there's an older couple, I would say, like, late 20s, early 30s. I don't mean, like, older, older, you know? But they've been together for a while. They've been married for a while. They've been trying to have a kid. And they went to the doctor and, like, I'm sorry, you know, we've been trying forever. And they run all these tests and they're both fine. And finally, the doctor's like, well, all right, well, just how do you do it? And it turns out he's been sticking it up her urethra for, you know, the last 10 years. Uh, <laughs> ouch. Yeah, right? Like, I, for the longest time, like, that's not possible. But sometimes I'm like, you know what? Dudes really don't understand anatomy, and women aren't that much better sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't have a very comprehensive sexual education. No. And parents are afraid to talk about sex with their kids. So, I don't, You know, it, it could happen. It seems like... So, obviously, the tissue can stretch, right? But it seems like to getting started, I guess, to refer to it, like, that's what makes me think it's probably impossible. Right. You know, because it's just, like, not large enough. It would be also just be the most, like, painful thing possible, you know? Yeah, but some yeah. women are just, like, trained emotionally to think that sex is supposed yeah, to be painful. Sex is painful? Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's not good. Society's pretty fucked, huh? No, no, I think we're heading to a good spot. <clears throat> I don't like it. No, no, no. Here's another intrusive thought I have. Um, You know, like, the Bud Dwyer suicide video? Yeah, the live TV one. I saw that at like a way too young age. So um, I think every age is a way too young age. 
Yeah. <coughs> been, that's been locked in my brain for a long time, but the, the specific intrusive thought I have is uh, my brain will be like, hey, imagine if you um, shot yourself in the head and you could feel like all your brain juices leak out of your nose and your mouth and stuff. Wouldn't that be crazy? Yeah. Think about that a lot. <laughs> probably not. You probably couldn't really feel it. And if you can't feel it, yeah. we're not really processing it at that point. It'd be pretty crazy, though, huh? No, not really. Just have, like... <laughs> Like a brain waterfall coming out, you know? There was some, I mean, as far as, as long as we're talking about intrusive thoughts, intrusive thoughts, sometimes I'd be like, on the wide red work, I'm like, you know what would be great? If I just got in a car accident, I didn't have to go anymore. No, I have to go to work. <laughs> what if I just died? No, nah, well, I, I mean, I mean like, like, yeah, you know, just like, like, break a leg or something. Like, if I got, yeah. uh, got hit by a Walmart truck, would that be so bad? Get a little cash. Get a little quiche. <laughs> a little quiche. That's how I knew it was time to, time to pack it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's about enough of that, huh? Like, well, if I just uh, get a car, a horrible car accident, that'd be fun. Yeah, it'll be alright, you know? I don't know. It'll a lot of people start car accidents. Yeah. I, I, remember, I remember being traumatized by that at a very early, early age. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, seen some crazy shit in my life. My brain sometimes just like, hey, why don't you think about that again? The brains are weird. They're not really yeah. helpful. We don't really be like, hey, remember that one time something really great happened? Remember that ice cream cone? That's no, pretty fun. No, it's always like, uh, hey, here's some terrible it, shit. Yeah, it's always but, something terrible or like something anxiety-inducing or embarrassing. It's never it's never yeah. like, remember that, that really great day when the sun was out and then you, you had a water gun fight and there was ice cream cone at the end of it? Yeah. What a fun time. It's always like, hey, remember when someone told you about chicken chopsticks with a youth dress? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it would... The, another like aspect of it that sucks is like I have a pretty vivid imagination, so like reading that, my brain immediately was like, "Oh, here it is in vivid detail, huh?" Yeah, think? I mean, I'm, in well, my head, like a, <laughs> there's like a splinter or a shoot. Well, I mean, I so, so I, I guess it depends. Like, why on does that anybody? I just don't get it. I don't get. I don't, I don't know. It takes all kinds. Yada yada yada. No need to kink shame fetishes. Yada yada. Blah blah blah. I, I don't get it because he was. The, it was clearly he was just expressing like sexual violence he wanted to perform on a young woman. You know, like he wasn't like you know what I mean. It was like not nor they weren't talking about normal shit. The other shit. How how like, dare you? Who are you to describe what is normal, sir? Well, yeah. <laughs> just yeah, no, no, don't be know. a fucking asshole. All right, I guess, yeah, but there's no in- consent. No, I don't mean you. I mean like so, they yeah. don't, you don't stuff shocks to accept. No, even if, I don't need, yeah. even if they really want you to, maybe th- think about it. Well, like that's like you need like super consent on that one. I think where like you sure, you sure about it? I don't know. You want to think about it? I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, this, they 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 weren't talking about getting consent for it. They're just talking about yeah, let's do an assault. Doing. Yeah, not good, not good, not good. And you know what sucks too is the more you're like, brain, don't, I don't want to think about that anymore. <laughs> Your brain's like, yeah, well, it's I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back with some more bad news. Hey, 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 hey you going to hey, hey, buddy, you going to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> chopsticks and chopsticks and chopsticks and chopsticks and chopsticks. When you uh, see like some sort of uh, like physical trauma or gore or whatever, it makes you like you're you like uh, like clench your butthole, like you gotta protect your butthole. <laughs> Why does that happen? What's that physiological phenomena? Uh, I'm. I, <laughs> it's because I think when you know some traumatic to happen, you lose your bowels, so you don't um. Yeah, oh. you, you know, you don't get septic. In the event that like a saber tooth tiger comes at you and yeah. does an evisceration. Because like yeah, you know, like you see someone like step on a nail, right? And they, you, you like fill it in your butthole. What's like, what you you're, like, you're also trying not to lose your bowels. And you're like, no, my bowels. That's interesting. You're like, nope, humanity's hold it together. It's not. Cool. There's no saber tooth tiger, just a nail. Fucking humanity rules. It rules being a human. Just dirty, stinking human. Just Stupid, hungry, thirsty, hairless apes. Bunch of dumb impulses, huh? And if you get brain damage, right? Sometimes you can't control those impulses. Sometimes yeah. you're just constantly thirsty. Sometimes you turn into Chris Benoit. 
Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> the face just calls taking dark places. Hey, join us next week when we start a wrestling podcast. We count down our favorite wrestlers, starting with Chris Benoit. The favorite wrestlers who died. <laughs> there's, a lot of them. there's a ton of them. Macho Man. Big Boss I, I Man. Wish, I fucking wish Jake the Snake would die so I could do an episode about him. <laughs> <laughs> Give it time. I, yeah, surprisingly, he's going to make it to a ripe old age, it seems like. Rest in peace to Scott Hall. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, we do wrestling podcasts. People like wrestling, right? We tried to do that. We couldn't keep up with. Uh, yeah, fuck that new shit, though. I don't like WWE either. Are we talking about doing an 80s style? That's right. Well, we're going to do the, the new generation, the mid 90s, the best period of WWE. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mid 90s? Like the Mountie. And, yeah, it's uh, fucking and the Shawn nails. Michaels, Bret Hart. Yeah. <laughs> we could do different art story arcs, I guess. Oh, we should, uh, I guess we can do, like, we can look at, um, I guess if you really want to do the wrestling podcast, a couple ways we can really look at it. You know, we can take different eras to, like, the Monday Night Wars. Yeah. I or... guess we should talk about it off of this podcast. No, because I have nothing else about, to talk about. This po- no, this podcast is about current events and, uh, hot takes and opinions and All stuff. All right, I got a hot take. Uh, Ben Simmons, he definitely does have a mental illness, but, um, it is going to prevent him from being a, uh, top basketball player. The end. Ben Simmons? That's what I said. What do you Nets. think his mental illness is? I don't know, but he doesn't perform well under pressure and crowds, you know? Oh. I, I He just seems I embarrassed that, that he... I, I'm i trying that's to give him the, the benefit of the doubt because he's saying that yeah. the reason he can't play is because, you know, he's got... Well, he's saying a back problem, but, you know, oh. he's also saying it's mental stuff. I don't know. I'm trying to be nice to him because, yeah. really, I just think, you know... Part of being he doesn't a, have what it takes. Huh? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just like top part of being a big a top basketball player is being mentally tough, right? Oh uh, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, they're millionaires and fucking whatever, but also that's it's fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like if you if you don't have mental toughness, you're just not gonna be able to perform in the playoffs or any other time really when it comes down to it. So I feel sorry for him, but lots of people can't play basketball for lots of reasons some of them can't play because they don't have the physical ability some can't play because they don't have the mental ability some do it's because of both but Ben Simmons yeah. just doesn't have it seem to have it mentally I didn't realize and now you know what I mean like it's yeah, I'll be fucking honest with you it's a fucking basketball game when it comes down to it I, I, there's a lot of harder shit I've done in my life than shoot hoop basketball give me any uh, I'll, I'll go out there right now in front of 50,000 people and shoot free throws what the fuck yeah, but he's like hella big, right? So his hands are too big for the ball. He probably hella, he's probably like 6'9". Well. Probably can't shoot free throws very well. His That's hands are too big, yeah. ridiculous. 6'9 is not that big. Larry Bird and Kevin Durant are both 6'9". And they shoot above 90%. Ke- uh, wasn't Kevin Dirk- Durant's got to be taller than 6'9", right? I think he's like I think he's only like 6'10". I think he just looks lanky as fuck. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have very much muscle. Yeah, it's kind of his problem right now in the uh, Boston Sister Series. They're just running them all off the his spots. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you gotta be a little bit strong for basketball. Remember? When well, I mean, like, yeah, he's it out. he's like six, you know, six nine, six ten, and like two twenty five, and that's you know about fifty pounds less than me, <laughs> and I'm four or five inches shorter than him. Yeah, that's not. That's it's probably a little, a little too little, a little too thin. Yeah, because he doesn't, he looks like he can get hurt. You know what I mean? Kevin Durant looks like. Yeah, he looks like. He'd fuck him up pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that, I mean, like PJ Tucker, the, the, that 6'5", you know, guard, small forward, would, guarded him last playoffs and did a decent job. And he, you know, it's just because he's stronger than him. Yeah. Let's push him around. What's he going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Kevin Durant? Maybe that was that was part of uh, Lil B's curse on him. <laughs> he had like uh, like the, the the thinner curse, right? Thinner, thinner, thinner. And then Lil B lifted the curse when he joined the the Warriors, of course. But uh, it was too late. He had gotten too used to only eating a couple beans for dinner. <laughs> That's Katie's diet. It's just a couple couple a little bit of refried beans. Well, you know that. Remember that like Mickey Mouse cartoon where he. Uh, Cuts like a fucking paper thin slices of bread and yeah. halves a bean to share with Donald or whatever. 
That was like what Kevin Durant was eating. <laughs> He's on the Christian Bale diet from the, the yeah. chemist. <laughs> Half an apple, coffee, coffee <laughs> can of tuna, and as many cigarettes yeah. as you can smoke. That's sick. There was a I saw some random video from some fitness dweeb who was like, "Yeah, during the week I eat only like eight or nine hundred calories, and then on my cheat day it's like over three thousand. It's like fucking why? Why would you do that?" <laughs> oh, I was just looking at like a calorie counter today, trying to figure out how much I need to eat to lose weight. I had to eat uh, like two thousand five hundred, and I'll lose weight. Yeah, depends on how fast you want to lose it and stuff. Also, you can't know for sure what your um. Yeah, it's all very. It's a variable, right? You know, basal your metabolic, metabolic rate is. Yeah, because it's just like right? the the BMI, metabolic. where it's just your height and weight, and they do a calculation. It's like, well, what about my bones? Really my bones might be bigger, just like you know, my mama said, I got big bones. I mean, your skeleton probably weighs a little bit more than most people's. Mine? Skeleton. Yeah. You got a thick skeleton. Well, I'm just because you're taller. Oh. Even if it's not any thick. I'm in somewhat comparable to my height. Oh. And well, then now you probably got same round same weight for skeleton. Skeleton also, I think the average weight is like 18 pounds. That's it. Fuck my skin. My, I feel like my bones weigh more than that. I got big thick, thick milk bones. Yours probably do because you're taller, but it's still only be like maybe like 20 pounds or something. Dense. I got dense bones. Dense bones. If you lift weights, your bones get denser. I don't break no. I don't break no bones. Get denser bones. Skeleton doesn't weigh very much. Uh, usually, average like seventy pounds of muscle is what people have. And then, even in your lifetime, if you work out a lot, you probably only you cap out around like thirty to forty extra pounds of muscle, which is quite a bit. But you know what I mean. How much my guts weigh, though? That's the real question. Uh, I don't know. Probably not as much as you think. Well, the brain is like, what, 10 pounds? I don't, I don't know. How much do my guts weigh? Uh, organ weights. Ooh. This is what the VH Cultural is really about. How to find out how much the, the bins is that bits weigh. Mm-hmm. Normal organ weights in men. Mm-hmm. What's the hell? The biggest of my liver. Stop right there. Thank you very much. I need well, someone um, with the human touch. Well, actually, even show me. Show me the answers, the numbers. All right. So, heart. Um. 90 to 630 grams. What's that in American weights? That's a huge range. Liver is 670 to 2900. These ranges are insane. How much my guts weigh? My intestines weigh 7.5 pounds. 4 pounds for large, 3.5 for the small. All right. Yeah, see, that's not as much as you think it would weigh. I feel like your guts should weigh like... How much my brains weigh? Three pounds. I was wrong. Three pounds. That's a three pounder. Mine's ten though. But it's I a head. A, you know what? I could probably eat a brain then. Three pounds. I could eat three pounds of food. I bet. Uh, the heart attack girl. That's they're, they're half pounds, right? So I ate, a, uh-huh. I ate two pounds of meat that one time plus fixings. Yeah, I think I can eat. I can eat a brain. And then a milkshake time, afterwards ate, too. Like, uh, so good for me. Well, like one time I ate like a whole um, frozen family size lasagna that was like three and a half pounds. Gross. So, like, I could do three pounds. I just like this frozen lasagna is disgusting. I mean, you make it in the oven. <laughs> that, I mean, what, you, what? you just, just try to justify right. yourself to me? It was all right. It is all right. Oh, man, now I'm hungry. Not for frozen lasagna, though. What are you having for dinner? Let's talk about dinner now. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I need to eat, though. I, I, um,. I feel like I got my metabolism working really well again after like yeah, eating, turn it on uh, cylinders. fixing my diet because like I got to eat like every two three hours or I get fucking grumpy and like feel like I'm gonna die. You know, what I mean? <laughs> I'm like I gotta eat or I'm gonna die. You think you're hangry? Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna eat though. Gotta eat some meat, meat and rice. That's what I'm always eating. Meat, meat and, and rice, rice, meat and rice. That's uh my diet's gonna be for lunch anyways. Uh. Some some Uncle Ben's Originals Ready Rice and a can of sardines. Sardines. They have omega-3 fatty acids. 
My lunch is always pretty much the same thing. It's like <coughs> carb tortilla, some turkey, uh, hard boiled eggs. I feel like I eat that every day. Carb boiled eggs. There's too much cholesterol in them, bitches. I don't give a fuck. Eggs are good. I love eating eggs. Also, I mean, if I just keep working out, my strong, my heart will just get stronger and stronger, and it'll just squirt all the cholesterol out, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. This is a no cholesterol free zone. And then my buff ass heart. Yeah. It's squeezing all the cholesterol. Good. Like, bop, bop, bop. I just gotta flex my heart. <laughs> it shoots out like a tooth, toothpaste. You can feel it. You ever hit your head so hard that you smell your brain? <laughs> I guess that's not yes. like, literally what's happening, but you know, like, so like a couple times I've gotten a concussion or like hit my head really hard. It's been the same smell. And I'm just like, is that like. Brain is that my brain juices? Is that what my brain smells like? Yeah, that's just wild. It's crazy to be human. Nothing greater than being human. I love being human. Just thirsty, horny, hungry, brain smells. <laughs> All this good shit. Just filthy animals. It rules. So great to be human. But it'd also be pretty cool to be a bear, huh? Hmm. I don't know. I'd rather be a house cat. Yeah, but I like you when you you know bears are always like doing stuff that you're like whoa what are the you know like when they wave or they practice walking around on two feet <laughs> or they just like Bumble. they've they been flex. Like, spotted like just taking in vistas you know what I mean it's like what's going on in a bear's mind It'd be nice to know how <laughs> I bet I bet there's are. some berries and fish down there I know that I think they're just like my well, damn. It's looking great tonight. Love nature. I think the bears just love nature. <laughs> love to eat it. Mm -hmm. That's why the grizzly man died. Be cool too, cause whales oh, a whale would like, be cool. Like, yeah, because they're like probably smarter than humans. And they're so smart that they're like, uh, build a society and create capitalism? Nah, we're going to stay in the ocean. That's how you know they're smarter than humans. <laughs> yeah, they're young eaten by killer whales. Like, uh, should we create, like, uh, fucking credit scores? <laughs> <laughs> no. We'll just eat plastic and die. <laughs> fuck that. We're, fuck, fuck that. I want to be an orca specifically. Oh, so you can, can fucking win also? They can kill anything. No one can kill an orca. They're the best. Top of the food chain. Sophisticated uh, social structuring communication abilities. Um, I'll tell you right now. If I wanted to, I could kill an orca. I can get a couple guys together and we can kill some orcas. No, it's illegal. Unless you're Finland or Japan. I don't think they kill orcas. They kill sperm whales and shit. Oh. They had to have been killing orcas at one point. They still got blubber. <laughs> they're dolphins, though, not whales. Yeah. Uh, they're not. They are cetaceous. 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 Cetaceous, right? Because they have teeth. Yeah. And they're baleen. Are the other whales? Balloon. Bristle mouth. Yeah, balloon. Bristle mouth is what I call them. They got mustaches in their throats. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, didn't remember in the news, didn't someone get swallowed by a whale and got spit out? Yeah. He's That's like, no, crazy. thank you, sir. He's like, oh, this doesn't seem like krill. You taste like butts. Tastes like smelly ass, dirty ass apes. There's a reason we went back to the sea. Yeah, they're like, oh, evolution, let's walk on land. Fuck that. We're going back. We got to go back. That's what humans need to go back to. <coughs> One day when the water snow. world hits. We got to go back. But I'm like an anarcho primitivist, but only to like 1995. <laughs> like that was Just get rid of the internet and we're good. Well, no, the internet can still exist, but, like, not to, like, the scale. And yeah, that means it, it is. Yeah, like, you can have, like, forums, you know. They yeah, like, you can have bolts and boards, all right? We're never fine. Yeah. And MIRC chat. Yeah, but, like, there's no nothing beyond that. The 1995 perfect level of technology. <clears throat> Hell, yeah. You Then you could still play, like, um, you know... The first couple Elder Scrolls games, <laughs> I think. Ultima Online. Oh, yeah, that's the best. Doesn't EverQuest come out in, like, 96 or 97, though? So you're cutting yourself off from that. 
99. Actually. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, EverQuest won't ever come out. It's all right, though. Well, I mean, you can make, like, EverQuest, but, like, you know, shittier graphics. <laughs> it's already pretty shitty. Like Ultima Online. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I love those old graphics, though. That's what I mean is, like, uh, graphic fide- graphical fidelity and the advancement of it is, like, man, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Why would I want to play a video game that looks exactly like real life? Stupid. <laughs> Dumb. It doesn't look exactly like real life because it's the Uncanny Valley. Why would I want to play so a video gross. game in the Uncanny Valley? You no, know, the, 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 the worst the thing that's kind of adjacent to like that video game culture of like high FPS shit is like when people will like take movie um clips and like oh, it's in 4K and like 60 frames per second. Look at how great it looks, and it's like fucking it looks god awful. I hate movies in, in 60 frames per second. Yeah, it's like this looks so terrible. <laughs> They're always doing it for superhero movies, too. And then you're like, oh, this straight up just does look like a cutscene from a video game. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the frames per second where it like saves it, it from uh, being ridiculously obvious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's already, like, kind of bad. And then when they increase the FPS, it's like, oh, my God. fucking. None of these people were even on set together, were they? No. No, they weren't. Well, fucking... Join us uh, next week when we play old video games in the new VHS Cold podcast. VHS Cold. Uh, but we it's, um spooky news real quick. Uh, I guess like the Sun or some other tabloid did like a Freedom of Information request to um Department of Defense or the, like Department of Aviation or something. You know, one of those government facilities, right? Mm-hmm. And they got a <clears throat> bunch of documents that were about uh. People getting injured from alien abductions and um, sexual encounters during alien abductions. Of course, why not? Yeah, uh, but that just it's a quick little throwaway. Um, we're learning more and more about the, the horny aliens every week. It seems like so we'll keep you updated. <laughs> They're out there. They're horny. They're raping everybody. Yeah, but I wanted to specifically talk about uh, something a little, a little more close to home. An Arizona man tried to sell his six point five million dollar ranch because what he cla- what of what he claimed were alien attacks. <gasps> well, I'm not buying it for six point five million, I'll tell you that. I'll give you I'll give you twenty dollars and a six pack and a wave goodbye. You may have heard of the Phoenix Lights, a nineteen ninety seven year. I did. They were uh they were from people. they were lantern lights from New Year, right? Uh no. hundred uh, percent. I'm pretty sure that's what it ends up in. Not even that. The, the, remember they trotted out the uh, governor, the mayor, whatever, and he made a joke out of it with the dude dressed as an alien shit. He got interviewed a couple of years ago, and he was like, no, "We had no fucking clue what they were. We just made that shit up. It's probably aliens." <laughs> He's like, "Oh, for sure, it's aliens." Yeah. Now watch me sink this putt. <laughs> uh. Uh, but the most culturally important extraterrestrial run-ins in the state have likely occurred at Stardust Ranch. I've never heard of it. It's the idyllic horse ranch, the site of alien strikes, abduction attempts, and even interdimensional travel. The property's mm-hmm. up for sale. Uh, John and Joyce Edmonds are the current owners, and they're trying to sell the Stardust Ranch. It kind of sounds like a sex place. <laughs> Stardust. I think of of David Bowie. Um, uh, Which, yeah, obviously, sells... yeah, sex place. Yeah, so yeah, sex place. When a man sells a $5 million ranch, you know that his alien encounters have taken a toll. Okay. Or he's just trying to drum up, you know. <coughs> Does that make people sell money? more? Would that make them people buy pay more money, though? Yeah, like Tom DeLong I, would buy this shit. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have $5 million, though. I mean, yeah, like, he does. He's uh, Angels and Airwaves. <laughs> Boxcar Racer. I'm sure he still gets money from Blink-182 touring, to be honest, because yeah, he, he started the band. Also, I'm pretty sure he's rich as shit. He actually has his own fucking UFO organization. Shit yeah, that, like, I know. It was fucking hired bullshit. scientists and military dorks and shit. Uh, so yeah, he could absolutely buy this Stardust Ranch if he wanted to. If I was rich, um, I'd probably buy a Stardust Ranch. Why I, not? you know, let's start a Kickstarter. All right, hell yeah. And then we'll start on our new podcast. Uh, well, living on the ranch. Living on the ranch. Fucking getting fucked up by aliens. 
Uh, here's the important shit, though. Edmonds claimed he fought off aliens with a samurai sword, uh, Pulp Fiction style. That's aliens exciting aren't always stuff. friendly. John Edmonds says he uh, he offed 18 Off? greys. He killed 18 greys with a samurai sword. That's a lot. Where are the bodies? Uh, Did they just even, turn into dust or he, something? He showed Gas? a f- photo of bloodstains, supposedly, from the encounters, but no corpses. Oh, yet. for sure. I'd keep those corpses, wouldn't you? I'd put them in a the freezer. Oh, wait, but where are the remains? If you don't take the heads, they disappear, Edmund says. He clarified, unless you cut off the head and disconnect the antennae, so to speak, they instantly phone home. Even with a razor-sharp sword, it's nearly impossible to decapitate them with one swing. There you go. That's why he doesn't have any corpses. <sighs> you know, they got to answer for everything. He's got me. Made up. He has some bullshit. I'm going to get He's selling the thing for $5 million? million. I'm for sure going to write up a, a quick starter march so we can see if we can do this shit. <laughs> yeah, what's cute about this, though, is... um. It's fun to imagine it two ways. Like, there's an entire, like, platoon of greys that came to visit. I like to think it was just, like, one down, or two. Right? And, like, everybody just kept coming to check on him. And he kept killing every- the search parties. Or, yeah, I guess that one's pretty good. But also, like, what if if you think of it more as just, like, uh, uh, you know, vermin or varmints that, you know, occasionally, like, you go out into the garage and you find Oh, them, this like, is oh, great. I got to kill fucking grey. <laughs> Martha $50. gave a samurai sword of goddamn gray in the attic again. Gray in here. Uh, previous owners supposedly disappeared. Stardust Ranch is located in Buckeye, about an hour and a half Ugh. away from Phoenix. Great. Now I'm not sure I'm hot on this idea anymore, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you gotta go to Buckeye. According to owner John Edmonds, the property has been a hotbed of extraterrestrial activity since he and his wife first moved in 20 years ago. Creepier still, the previous owners didn't seem to move out. They had just disappeared, and all their stuff was still in the house, Edmund said. Wait, when did they move in? Seems like they could easily verify that. Yeah, I bet I can look it up. Uh, all, yeah. uh, you know, when I moved Who'd into my... Who'd you buy my... it from? Who'd you buy it from, sir? <laughs> when I moved into my house, which was a foreclosure, there was some still some furniture inside because it was a foreclosure. <laughs> No, they got disappeared by aliens. <laughs> no, these people got disappeared by the fucking Bank of America. <laughs> You know what? This Edmonds dude, I think he's just a squatter, right? Based on what he said. <laughs> yeah, he didn't buy the house. He just showed up and started living there. Yeah, I, I think he maybe one, one of the greys he killed with a samurai sword were the previous owners. <laughs> uh, he says the aliens tried to take his wife. Uh, there was a cone of light. It came down and she started to rise into the cone of light. I grabbed an AK-47 with a double <laughs> banana clip in it. What the fuck? I went outside fuck? and I opened up. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really, like, I, I'm I not prepared for this shit. for you fools, and I ain't talking about fruit. <laughs> load up the chopper like December 31st. God damn. This guy rules. This is uh, like uh, the Gulf Breeze incident. <laughs> <laughs> I fired my shotgun wildly into the air. I love it when like... Uh, the aliens harass people, and the, the the story goes that they they just get fed up with the aliens, and especially this guy killing with samurai swords. He's loading up the choppers. God damn, he's fucking get off my lawn. Oh, they appear inside the house. Uh, they seem to like John Edmund's home. He claims he claims he's seen and heard them in his sunroom, though their presence causes some damage to the house. The speed generated by their movement, in parentheses, it says three critters. I guess he calls them critters. So it is kind of like I was saying, where, you know, just a critter. Yeah, he's just... Just fucking kill it. At once, made, they, they made Ah, the give me the, the great trap again. They like peanut yeah. butter more than cheese, damn it. They made the glass in the double pane windows actually buzz and misalign in the frames to the point that the windows are now very difficult to close. And lock property without using a screwdriver to realign them in the frame first. I believe the high frequency buzz is a side effect of their partial in phase or out of phase interdimensional travel. He's a scientist too. Well, I mean, he used a lot of big science words there, so how could he not be a scientist? Yeah, he said uh, phase in phase or out of phase interdimensional travel. You gotta fuck. That's like some type of shit people degrees say. I barely understand it. <laughs> oh, he's collected samples. Of what? Aliens. <laughs> uh, after a particularly nasty squabble, uh, he says he is left with a large amount of tissue and fluid samples from the greys. With whom he... <laughs> I like how they phrased it. With whom he shares the ranch. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, they were tamed after Hey, buddy, you got any sugar? Oh, Jesus, my head. <laughs> he, the samples were obtained after he nearly split a grain in two with an exceptionally well sharpened samurai sword. This guy is bad ass. How many swords does he have? Is it the one or is it, is it multiple swords? According to the people who analyze, <laughs> it sounds like he has multiple. He's stories. got a katana. He's got a wakazashi. <laughs> uchi katana, uchi, and uh, what is it, naginata? Yeah, those ones are crazy. Uh, according to the people who analyze the material, the liquid sample appears to be pure hemoglobin, and the skin looks like segmented grass, except it's not grass. So you know, the, these aliens are made of plants. Made out of pure marijuana. Plant aliens. Uh, portals frequently appear at the Sardis Ranch, which the, the fucking it fits the name, right? Sardis Ranch and fucking portal, portals. Portals frequently appear, and like sexy aliens <coughs> come out of them. Yowza, a dame is what you'd say when a sexy alien came out. <laughs> Yowza, an alien dame. Uh, the openings are often large enough for triangular craft, wings, or orb-like ships to pass through. These objects leave the space around the ranch and other craft. Re-enter the sky around the ranch and portal by uh, pissing through it. I guess that's supposed to be passing. Oh, he's got scars from alien encounters. Probably from doing battle, I would assume. Yep, he says from a battle with an 11 ET, he's got a nasty mark on his calf. They experienced uh, skin punctures, triangular depressions in the skin, and severe bruising and skin disfigurement, similar to what one would experience if exposed to radiation, followed by nausea, gastrointestinal distress, and chronic fatigue and muscle weakness. Actually, these uh, symptoms they have here at the end, um, those were in the report from uh, the Department of Defense. <gasps> People get radiation burns from aliens. Some of them get pregnant, too. <gasps> The aliens the leave artifacts. He spotted an alien on the ranch and it froze, then dropped a mysterious object on the ground. You know he was like yelling like interdimensional ethnic slurs at the alien. That's why it, it was, <laughs> as soon as it saw him, he was like, oh my god, that's the guy who's been killing everyone. This is, you know, in like I Am Legend, how like the twist is uh, he's like a monster that kills the monsters, right? Yeah. That's what this guy's like. He's like, this is like fucking Jack the Ripper for aliens. Uh, property has a long, creepy history. Uh, probably. Oh yeah, here you go. The previous owners were eager to leave. She no, they was... disappeared. She and her siblings spotted a green something lurking in the hallways. Uh, but um, <laughs> they disappeared. How did you find that out? Even a non-believer spotted a strange figure one night, and after chasing it through the house, returned shaking and with their hairs on his arms standing straight up. No one was there. <coughs> oh, what? The team, the team from Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures uh, stopped by Gar Stardust Ranch to see the creepy activity themselves. No one uh, they were convinced. Of course they were. When have yeah, they not so been convinced? Several team members saw strange figures and lights, and one woman ended up with bruises on her arms. So that shit's real. And all this to say, this ranch could be yours for five million dollars. All right, Let's get it. go to Patreon, everyone. We're getting this. No, 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 no. So, I, why have you been talking for the last like two or three minutes? I looked it up. We're not playing five million dollars for this fucking piece of shit. This is goddamn scam. Uh, <laughs> it was sold for two hundred thirty-seven thousand in nineteen ninety-eight. It's five mm -hmm. bedrooms. Uh, I think it was two baths. I'll have to double check on that. Five bedrooms, three baths. Oh, it's a goddamn piece of shit. Wow, like falling down. Yeah, uh, it's 10 acres, which I guess, whatever. Um, Zillow okay. puts the estimate at $564,000. All right, so donate to the Patreon. We don't actually need $5 million. I would like. I would oh, like I'm sorry. No, million. no. Uh, Realtor is 564 Zillow is 849 So let's say a million. Yeah, so we need like a million. Um, but if and, you feel uh, like doing five. You know, honestly, like, um, we need about two to fix this goddamn piece of shit up if we actually want to live there. Oh, yeah, also we'll need an uh, extra million for, like, equipment to uh, uh, aliens. You know, I'll aliens. give you some, some – if you donate $30,000, we have we have five slots for $30,000, and uh, each person will get to spend the night in the ranch with us before we, we move in oh, and yeah. do any changes. And we'll do uh, alien hunt or ghost hunt or whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know, whatever. If you get abducted, we're, we're, we're signing waivers. <laughs> I mean, if, if – that's the whole reason you'd want to come is so you get
Ah, but you crash again. I'll end it. You know what? So long from VHS Cold. Join us next week as we talk about wrestling that no one's watched in 30 years and whine about video games no one cares about. Um, we're gonna we're gonna buy an alien ranch. <laughs>